Do we have any uh, smart Muslim? Uh, we have. We have somebody. Hello. 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 Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? We have any uh, smart Muslim? Yes, you remember me? I I we spoke before. Well, I I, I hard to remember. It, I did not check your chat. Did we chat too? Um. Yeah, I see. I see you called me before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you called me last time in May twenty seven, Friday two thousand twenty two. Correct. What? Uh, yes. Okay. So what, how I can help you, my friend? Um, I just, if, if it's okay, I, I, I pray to you. Do you want to pray to me? No, I mean, I pray for you. You pray for me, but you are a Muslim. Yes, I believe. But, is, the, but isn't it the, the Quran, Quran, isn't it the Quran forbid you from praying to the Christians? No, in the Quran, it says uh, in Surah Al-Ma'idah 69, mm -hmm. uh -huh. So indeed, the believers, the Jews, Syrians, and Christians, whoever truly believes in Allah mm. and the last day does good, there will be no fear for them, nor they will grieve. That means those those Christians who truly follow their prophet, I mean, at the time of the prophet, that means the Christians who follow Jesus truly, uh -huh. then they will Okay, well, so you, no you, can, you can pray for the one who follow Jesus truly, right? Sorry, what's that? The one who follow Jesus truly. Yes, correct. Okay, well, according to the Islam, I don't follow Jesus, Jesus truly. According, to... oh yes, correct. So you are you are fooling yourself, then you cannot pray for me. And you, 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 uh, you know, my friend, instead of saying I will pray for you, are you going to heaven yourself? Uh, inshallah. You just said inshallah. Yes, inshallah. What does that mean? I mean, we strive for the best to enter paradise. You pray for the best to enter. So Islam it doesn't guarantee you that you will go to heaven. Mm. Well, it says that all Muslims will go to to heaven. Well, I, what I know the Quran says is that all of you will go to hell. What do you think? You mean for Muslims? Yeah, Muslims. Chapter 19, verse number 71. No, it, the... says, it says all of you will enter hell. I think that will be those sinners. Will be what? The sinners. I mean, if they're Muslims, but then they... If no, they no, no. Sin... no, my friend, the verse says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا Not a single of you, single one of you, but he shall enter hell. Do you have, do you have my uh, my screen open? Look at my screen. So, what verse is that? I will show you the screen. Can you read? I will zoom out for you so you can read it. Chapter 19, verse number 71. And this is the interpretation of your prophet cousin. Not a single you, but he will enter hell in the exclusion of the messengers. And this is the Muslim interpretation, but the Quran doesn't say that, by the way. It says, Not a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. I have to look into the... We are looking. What do you mean you have to look? What are we doing now? No, I mean, I have to look at the tafsir. We are looking. This is tafsir. I mean, you said to me, you want to look to tafsir. I'm sure tafsir. You want to change tafsir? I can change tafsir. This is tafsir al If you don't like this one, here it says, not 
but shall come to it that but shall enter hell. There is not one of you, but shall come to it that is but shall enter hell. So my friend, the Quran promise you, you will enter hell. I have to research it. I have no my friend, idea. what's wrong with you? I have to. I, I'm just showing you. This is this is the official Islamic website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It says 2021 Royal Ahlul Bayt Institute of Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan. This is official government website. This is the Book of Ajalalain. This is the Quran. This is chapter 19, verse number 71. And he keeps saying to me, I have to search it. Search what? I just show it to you on the screen. So the poor you, you, you are being nice. You said you want to pray for me. In fact, I need to pray for you, my friend. You are going to go to hell. By the way, as long as you are going to hell, can I send a letter with you to Muhammad? Send a what, sorry? Can I send a letter with you to Muhammad? A letter? Yeah. Uh, what letter? You got busted. Busted for? Yeah, just, uh, just two words. A letter from me to Muhammad. You go to his uh, room in the hell. You say to him, Christian Prince, he says to you, you got busted. That's all. Because you are going to hold your health, you guarantee. I mean, all of you, Mimi, Hijab, all this, you know, this gang, all of you, Aisha, Hafsa, oh, Omar, you will find the whole group there playing cards. Tell them all, Christian Prince says to you, you got busted. It, it says in 71, there is none, not, um, there is not one of you, but will pass over it. it not pass not over it. This is false. It says, Warida, my friend, they lie to you in translation. Wariduha, you go to the dictionary. Warada Shay Kad Atah wa Sharibamin Wariduha Waradal Ma Sharibamin al Ma. He came to the water, he drank from it. So you have to go in it. It's not pass over it. That's a lie. You know, if it's pass over it, why they are saying this? Those are scholars, those are not a joke. Those are this Ibn Abbas is the cousin of your prophet. Don't Ibn Abbas know what Waridu I mean? They are fooling you. You are, you are from Indonesia, right? No, no. No, okay. I am from Indonesia, by the way. I used to be Indonesian for three years. And then I became Japanese. And then I became a black, blonde, African-American from Japan. And now I do not know where I am, what I am from, because, you know, I used to kiss stones. And then I married a woman. Her name is Khadija, and she drove me crazy. You know? So what do you think? You want to pray for me what? So my, my, this God will make my penis endless? Is that a really, a, is that a good prayer? I mean, no, I imagine, imagine, you. my friend, imagine you are a person, Mr. Hadi, your name is Hadi. So yeah. uh, imagine, Hadi, you are here now. I don't know. You are not here. I mean, here, there, whatever you are. No, your penis go in the Amazon jungle. And you know, there they have a, they have a fish. She eat anything move. I mean, I saw, a, I saw a documentary. I mean, that scared the hell off me, man. You throw, you throw the anything in the water, even a rock. Those fish, they will go crazy, and she will fight over it. So imagine, imagine, hmm? you go, you have such an endless uh, penis. May Allah extend it more and more. And then your penis go by, by mistake. You know, there's no GPS in the time of the Prophet. Go to the Amazon uh, River. And those fish, brother, they are waiting for you. Your penis will go in the water and bingo. What? Can you imagine what will happen to you? No. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, this is your penis, not mine. Just you close your eyes and imagine. So you are now promised an English penis. And this penis going over the sea, down the sea, like a phone cable, you know, like it's endless. And you don't know where it's going. You never stop. You can't stop it because it's endless. The, the prophet says endless, it has to be endless. Because if it's a stop, it's not endless no more. That means lying. So imagine your penis go down the river, go up the river. I mean, imagine you pass the customs of China. 
Unbelievable. You will have like 10,000 stamps over your penis. I mean, I should show you my password. They start putting stamps over stamps, stamps. Now, what the heck is that? So you have now in this penis, this is your passport. You know, they didn't see you even, they didn't even see your face yet. They are seeing the penis. So what kind of religion, this religion you are asking me to pray for, you will pray for me, thank you very much. But all of it is about penis, vagina, asses. What the heck is that? Don't you want to use your brain, my friend? Yeah, of course. Okay, use it. Do you think really God will promise you this? No, uh, okay. It regards the, just now the verse 71. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, and, and that's, uh, Ibn Kathir said, regarding the, there is none, one of you that but will pass over it. The messenger of Allah said, then we shall save those who had taqwa Allah said, and then the two sahih, no one of the Muslims who had three children who are all died will be touched by the hellfire, except for an oath that must be fulfilled. It's, okay. So, okay. You, are reading, you said you are reading Ibn Kathir, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me go to Ibn Kathir um, and see what Ibn Kathir is saying. Okay. You see, just to show you that Ibn Kathir, when Muslims they say Ibn Kathir, well, there is somebody lying here. I'm not saying you are lying. Which website you are using? This website? The one in front of me in the screen? No, no, no not this one. Uh, which one? The Q Tafsir. Okay. But Ibn Kathir should be the same, right? I mean, it's, uh, they are, yeah. uh, this is in the translation. Okay. But this is... Of course, what you say it is not really true. All right, this is Ibn Kathir. If this is what it says there, that means they are lying to you because I will show you Ibn Kathir in Arabic. It says here, uh, Ibn Jarir reported that uh, Abdullah, he said, concerning Allah's statement, but this is not your prophet, this is uh, Ibn Jarir. Let me continue, okay. The bridge over the hill, over hill, is like a sharp edge of a sword. First group to cross, it will pass like flesh of light. Second, second group will be like wind. Third the group will pass like fast horse. Fourth the group will pass like fast as cow. Then the rest will pass while the angels will be saying, Oh Allah, save them. Save them. The narration has support in narration similar from the prophet. It says the following. It's not repeating, it's saying the same. But look, uh, here it says, passing over the bridge, just to show you how they lie in the translation. Do you see anything here it says about Imam Ahmad? Doesn't say anything, right? Nothing. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Qala yeah. al-Imam Ahmad. حدثنا سليمان بن حرب حدثنا خالد بن سليمان عن كثير بن زياد البرساني عن 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 اوكي بعضنا قال لا يدخلها مؤمن وقال بعضهم يدخلونها جميعا so they some they say nobody will enter it and some they say all they will enter it and then Allah will rescue those who they became they were good you know in their behavior they say uh, and here it says, and we disagree about the word al-wurud. فقال يردونها جميعا قال, which means all of them they will, will enter it. قال سليمان مرة يدخلونها جميعا وهو بأصبعه إلى أذنه. He says, all of them they will enter it and he put his finger inside his ear. Hmm? And then he said, and you are the one who mentioned hadith, and just to show you how they lie in the translation, it says, uh, لا يبقى, uh, uh, he said he heard the Prophet saying لا يبقى بر ولا فاجر إلا دخلها not a good man or a bad one but he entered it but it's going to be good for those who they are believers like what happened to Abraham when he go in hellfire so they do not agree you know and then here it says uh, from Al-Hassan etc it says 
عبدو الرزاق uh, when this guy his name is ibn rawaha wadi'a ra'sahu fi hijr umrahatahu fa baka so this person uh, uh, he was putting his head in the in the lap of his wife and he started crying he, she said to him why you are crying he said to him he said to her because the quran says i heard the prophet saying wa in minkum illa raduha not a single one but he will enter it not a single one but enter it so as you see look the english translation have nothing to do with the arabic translation let me let me translate for you i will use i will keep the other page in english i will use the arabic one and i will use google translation actually let me do this hold on uh, They lie, they love to lie. They love to lie. Huh. But look, all the translation is. Okay, my friend, here we go. No, no, just, just wait. It's a false translation. It's a lie translation. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Hmm? This is Ibn Kathir, Tafsir al Quran al Azim. And I will use Google Translation for you. Tell me where we can find any of those in the English translation. We can't find it. Let me go down. Where we can find this? Where we can find it? It's not in Arabic. It's gone. You will enter hell. All of you will enter hell. And this is the story here about the the man. He was a crying. He will enter hell. God said to the, uh, the Pharaoh, you know, people will, you know, enter hell. Okay? But you will see all of this is not even in English one. Where, where is the English translation we see in front of us? Look how small the page in English. Let me look for the English page. And look how endless this Arabic page. Look, I'm just flipping the same, the same page. I'm just, just one verse. Now, finally, we reach the end of the page. So, so here, here, look what they, what they did. They skip all the verses, all the interpretations saying that you will go inside the hell. And he put the one that says, there's a bridge. And some of you will go fast, which means you will be barbecued anyway. So if you are a very, very, very good Muslim, you will go so fast. If you are so-so Muslim, you will go slower. If you are not so much, you will go in the speed of a cow. So you will be barbecued. And if you are a bad, then you will go in the fire. If you are, if you are a Muslim still, you know, you will go in the fire and then the angel will say to Allah, please save them, Allah, please save Allah. <laughs> but the Arabic is so clear, you know, it says clearly, not a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. Not a single one. And there is nowhere it says bridge. Where is the bridge? Where is the word bridge in the verse? No bridge. In the explanation in the hadith. Yeah, but in the Quran it says, Wa ma illa wa not even a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. And as you see, the Arabic one does not does not match with the English one. The Arabic one is totally different. And the Arabic one confirmed that many they will go to hell. Actually, all of you will go to hell. But some will get hurt badly, some will hurt less. As simple as that. You know, and at the end of the day, this is the promise of your prophet, right? About you going to hell. But I can promise you you will go to hell because simply you don't believe in Jesus. I do not no, need we, Muhammad to confirm we that. We, no, you don't. We, we do no, you don't. Believe. You don't even have the name of Christ in your in your book. Where is the name of Christ? Isa. Who, who's Isa? Jesus. No, we never. We, we are Arab Christians. We never heard of Isa before. Never. Not a single once. Even... In the Christian Bible, there's no. Not even in the Christian Bible, there's nothing called Isa. Who is Isa? We have no idea. Where he got his name, we don't know. We don't have we Isa. Be, we still believe in uh, Jesus. Our friend, our friend. 
You see, if your God is God, he should do what God do. How many times you watch my videos? Many. Okay. Did your God, Allah, say his women have a sperm? Woman has a sperm. Yeah. And you are the one who like the Ibn Kathir in English, right? Yes. Okay. Open with the Ibn Kathir. Go to chapter 86. Hmm. Go down, it says. So let man see what he is created from. Do you see it? Uh, what verse? You can open from your side if you want. Anyway, here it says that a human being is created from gushing fluid, meaning sexual fluid comes from, uh, out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus the child produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Due to Allah, it says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. This is the God you want to take you to heaven? Oh, sorry. Verse 6 and 7. Yeah. Hmm? I think there's an explanation on this and then it mentions that the science is correct. What science is correct? The women she have a sperm coming from her ribs? Science says women have sperm. This is what science says. Women have a sperm. Since when? I thought the women she have an egg. So verse six is he, right? Huh? Doesn't mention woman is mention he. It says, aren't you the one who says to me, Ibn Kathir? Yes. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. Do you accept Ibn Kathir or not now? Yes. Okay, it says, gushing forth, meaning, gushing forth from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It's a sexual fluid. That sexual fluid coming from the ribs of the women is the woman's semen, which is referring to her chest. So, if there is anything in science says, that women, they have a sexual fluid coming from her chest. And not only her chest, by the way, this is a false translation. The word taraib is the location of the top bone of the, uh, the ribs, not just the ribs, all of it. The last top bone next to your neck. So you, are, you want to pray to me to go to heaven? Your God, if you will go, your God needs to go to school. What go to heaven? What kind of no, God do you think women she have a breast testicles? A Muslim he said his name is Anwar. I can send you a Bible says the word Isa. This is Muslim translation. We don't have Isa. This is a false translation. Uh, I will give you the better news. Uh, the, the, the Arabic translation for the Bible used the word Allah. That's a false translation. We don't have the word Allah in the book in the Aramaic, neither in the Greek, neither in the Hebrew. <laughs> false translation. The same as your Quran saying the word Jesus in the Quran in English. There's no Jesus. False translation. Are you happy now? So, are you with me, my friend? So, how this is God, he claimed that women, she have a sexual fluid, and that make the baby coming from her ribs, and this is her semen. And a man, he have a sexual fluid coming from his backbone. Do you have a backbone yourself? Yes. Okay, well, you're according to the Muhammad, your semen is coming from your backbone. 
not from your testicles. So if I am you, I will dump them somewhere. I mean, you will. Don't, there's no need for them. What testicles for? Oh, They're annoying. The, you can't even play football. The, you know. Is the area of the the backbone, the, the lower pelvis? I think. What the, it says the backbone. What area? The backbone, a solp. Solp is the bone itself. Not only a bone, it is the last bone in your ass, in your spine. Not from that area. It says a solb. A solb is like, I mean, you can't take it literally. You have to. What literally? This is what literally? Aren't you the one who no, says to me? Listen, listen, listen. You see how hypocrite the Muslims are? When you want, you say to me, let's go to Ibn Kathir. Now you don't want Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir he says, the backbone of the man. Did he say not literally? No, he said the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And then he says the women liquid is a yellow and fine in texture, and he's quoting your prophet. Yeah, you have to look at the meaning. The meaning is the, the man. Uh, my friend, my friend, listen, listen, I don't have time for stupidity. Aren't you the one who says to me, let's go to Ibn Kathir? Yes. Sir. Okay, Ibn Kathir will do what? Will give us the meaning. So now we are reading the meaning from Ibn Kathir. So do you accept him or not? You keep saying to me, how to go. so why we are going to Ibn Kathir then? You don't speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. I'm not going to take that against you. I'm using Ibn Kathir, the book you like, and this is the website you like, and this is the translation you are using. Ibn Kathir says, yes, this is true. There is a semen coming from the backbone, and there is a semen coming from the ribs of the women. So what we would do now, you still keep saying to me, you don't take it literally. So why we go to Ibn Kathir then? Why Ibn Kathir he take it literally? You think he is a stupid? No. Okay. So what we will do? We, we should we change different uh, interpretation for you? Maybe that will make you happy. I they haven't read the explanation, but read carefully with me. Remember, read carefully uh, with me. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas that is issued from the from the. This is a false translation. It says loin. It says the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. So now all the Muslim scholars do not speak good Arabic, and you are the guy who God knows from where. You are the one to tell me you should not take it literally. So why they take it literally? The, the, the meaning is um, the area. Where it says the area, the where, okay. And let us go with the area. Women, first of all, don't have sperm. They don't. Secondly, it doesn't say area. It says coming from the backbone. Can you show me the word area? I will show you another stupid thing, just to show you how you Muslim you play games. The Quran say the sun set in murky water. What your sheikh will say to you? Oh, the murky water, right? Huh? Uh, regarding yeah, it's at the end of the land, so you it's not. My friend, shows... what your answer, Shaitan or Allah saying? That the sun set in murky water. What Allah he meant by saying, the guy he arrived where the sun set and he found it sitting in a muddy spring of water. How you will say now? What what you will say to me now? You will say so to me focus in the area. The explanation is huh? Zulkar Yeah. Yeah. He, he saw that in in his view. Okay. That the sun um. The sun goes over the water. Okay. Means Can you show me what it says like, that Zulkarnain he saw from his view? Where it says that? So there's the explanation. We, it's not okay. Really so now the explanation is a stupid explanation because simply it's against what your prophet said. Your prophet, he said, the sun set in the murky water. Hmm. Your prophet said, which one is higher? Your prophet or, or, or the explanation? Is that your prophet talking? I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey. While the sun was setting, he asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water, boiling water. 
So what explanation? Who explained the Quran better? You, Ibn Kathir, Potato, Tomato, or Muhammad? No, even Muhammad uh, didn't know that because he's just following. Oh, just so Muhammad was a stupid. So Muhammad he claimed now that the sun set in murky water. He didn't understand what Allah is saying to him, but you understand better, right? No, he he's Muhammad just um, was just following what Allah said. Okay, so that's me. Ah, uh, look what happened. He is following what Allah said. So what Allah said is what he is saying here. He did not say from the perspective of Zulqarnayn. This is a Muslim lies trying to cover up the stupidity of the Quran. Thank you very much. Take care, my friend. Next time, let your dad call me. And don't pray for me. Pray for yourself. I'll go into hell. And pray for me. What a joke. Even your prophet, he asked you to pray for him because he's not sure he will go to heaven. If he is going to go to heaven, he do not need your prayer to go. Pray for me. Somebody saying, why do you believe the Bible is a reliable source of information? Very simple reason. There is no book in the world is documented as much as the Bible. It's written in many, 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 many languages from the beginning of the time. Spread around the world. In many languages. And people are disconnected. So there's no way a person who live in India, he can agree with somebody live in Europe about a book. And both of them, they never met unless this book is accurate. And this is saying. You will find that people who accepted Christianity in India from the beginning of Christianity or Ethiopia or uh, 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 Egypt or Syria or uh, all over. At the same time, the book match the ethic of Jesus. Love your enemy. Bless them. And the Christian, they were very careful about what to accept, what not to accept. Like, you know, some uh, uh, Anwar saying, not a good argument. Well, Anwar, you know, I don't know what argument is good for you. You are a person who believe in endless penis and you are talking about argument. How we can argue about penises now? I mean, look who is talking. A person who believe that a monkey, she committed adultery and she was stoning other monkeys. Talking about the good argument. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoning it because she it had committed adultery. And you are talking about argument? So now the Muslim, they believe that monkeys are Muslim Sunni and they are practicing Sharia law. Actually, if you read the story behind it, you will die laughing. According to Muhammad, this monkey, she male monkey, if she, um, a female monkey, she was sleeping over the hand of her husband, Mr. Chapanzi. And then another, uh, another, another uh, monkey, he came from behind the tree and he blinked for her. She came behind the tree and did them boom, boom. Then she came back and her husband is still asleep. She tried to insert her hand under his head again, but then he woke up and he started sniffing her. And then he found out that she wasn't doing adultery. And he starts saying, Takbir, Takbir. And then the Muslim monkeys, they come and they stone her. And you are talking about good argument? What digging the question? I'm not digging the question. And let me answer you about the Bible. If my Bible is not a good trustworthy, so how you stupid Muhammad? He take an oath of it and he says, I believe in it. Is that a good argument? No, it's not a good argument. Is it this is your stupid book says? Agreeing with the book we have between our hands? Verifying which they have? If you don't like this translation, we can change it. This is Shakir. Yeah, let's go to Yusuf Ali. <laughs> That's a good argument. And when they come to them, a book from Allah confirming what is with them. Not a good argument. <laughs> So not only our book, not only the Christian around the world agree about the book, even the filthy prophet, the child molester, he have to admit that this is a true book of God.
Seht ihr nicht genau den Neid? Uh, answer, I'm showing you the Quran saying that Allah, he says, actually, you see here the verse says confirming it's a lie. In Arabic, it doesn't say confirming, it says musaddiqun, which means believing in what is with them. And what is with us? Jesus is God. Hallelujah. This is why I told your friend here, when you go to hell, don't forget to, tell, to deliver my message to Muhammad. You got busted. And this is all over the Quran. Some verses saying what is between their hands, and some verses saying confirming what is with them. Either one, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> hey, Anwar, why you don't call me and show me how smart you are? Do you like to call me? Let us see how good you are. Palestine, get out of here. Either you call me, I don't want to see you here. You know, Jacob and Israel refer to a man. You know what? Just to show you how stupid this religion is. I challenge any Muslim to tell me who is Israel. I have a book in the front of me. It's called the Quran. I'm reading this book. How in the world I will know who is this guy? His name is Israel. Any Muslim can tell me? It says, O children of Israel. So it's confirmed it's a man. They are his children. Who is this guy, Israel? Potatoes. Religion of potatoes. Religion of the thief. Have you ever heard of a God? He introduced to us a guy. His name is Israel. He don't tell us who is this guy. Where he is born. Who is his family. Who, who is this Israel? Suddenly, O oh, children of Israel. And the funny is that the dad was making fun of Israel, struggling with God. But you stupid, the second you accept the name, you accept the story. <laughs> Oh boy. Israel? Do you know Muslim? Because Muhammad do not know what Israel means. So he put Israel in the, in the book. What Moses mean? He do not know what Israel He put it in the book. Abraham, he put it in the book. What Ishmael mean? He do not know what Ishmael He put it in the book. And you will notice that the most important name for Muhammad is Gabriel. Do you know that not a single Muslim knows what Gabriel mean? <laughs> a thief. A thief who claimed that he is a professor in mathematics, but he do not know 2x2 is what? A thief who claimed to be a professor in biology, but he claimed that the, the sperm became a blood, dead blood. A thief who claimed to, to, to be an expert, a professor in geography, and then in geology he claimed that the sun set in a muddy water, a spring of water, not ocean. He's expert in everything. As an example, Muhammad is the only one who was able to find out why you are a male and why she is a female. Why, Prophet, why? Listen, if your wife have orgasm before you, the baby will be a female. What the heck? If the guy, he have orgasm before the female, the boy will be a male. So now you can go to your dad and you can tell him what happened in the bedroom the day you have you. If you are a female, you say to your mom, Mom, I know you came first at that night. <laughs> your mom, she might kick you out of the room or maybe from the house if you say that. Don't do that. So, Dr. Muhammad, this is Dr. Muhammad. Who told them? Allah told them. The Messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child resembles the parents. Like, what the heck? This is why I promised myself, if I ever have a wife, I will never come first, my friend. I don't want my son to look like me. That's scary.
I will marry a beautiful woman, and I will let her all the time come come first, all the time. It doesn't matter. I will never even, you know, that's it. Prophet of Allah, Dr. Muhammad. Get out of here. You know, the funny is that your God himself is a Zionist. Look what he called himself, Zionist. Let us show you the Zionist. Isn't it your God, Allah? He ordered the Jews, and he told them that you are my favorite people, my chosen people, Zionist, huh? Who is the Zionist? Here we go. This is the fruit of the Jews. Muhammad lived between them, and he was kissing their asses. Read with me. Who is the Zionist now? O oh, children of Israel, remember my favor upon you, which I bestowed upon you, and favor you upon all mankind and genie, even genies. Allah, he favored Bani Israel from the genie too. Why they are genies? How he favored them from the genie too? Who is the Zionist? This is your Quran. They are the favorite. A genie, Allah, you know, a Zionist Allah. And then Allah, he ordered them to kill all the Palestinian. And the funny, the guy, he keep coming here. He's from Pakistan. He called himself Palestine. Look. Allah, he ordered. And not only that. Because they refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah, he punished them and he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. Chapter 5, verse number 21. Do you see between brackets says Palestine? Who is the one who ordered to take Palestine? Allah, the Zionist. Shish kebab. Any Abdul? And then they said to Musa, oh, Musa, you know what? Those people there, they are strong. We will not go with you. You go and fight them. Only two men, only two men, of the old Jewish, they agree to fight with Musa. One of them is, and look here, they add names. It's not in the Quran. Those aren't in the Quran, by the way. Muslims do not know what, what Joshua and Caleb, you know, those names aren't exist in the Quran. This is fabrication. They said to him, let us go and assault them. Imagine three men, they want to go and assault a nation. I mean, how stupid is the story here? This is really what story happened? Only two men. Only two men, or maybe two men, and they are leaders of our army. Just two men, they will go? That so mean, Moses and two men only, they will agree? This is not what the story says in the Bible. Only two men. They will go and fight. So, they say to you, why are you, why are you attacking the Palestinian? First, those Arab there are not Palestinian. There's no more Palestinian exists. Secondly, as you see, Allah ordered the Jews to take the land. This is the land assigned to you. This is a land assigned to the Jews. Who is assigned it? Allah himself. The Zionist Allah. Do we have any Mohammedan? Ex-terrorist, nobody dare to call me. Look how long we are here and not even one single one of them. The only one who called me is an idiot. He did not know what he's talking about. You want to pray for me? What a joke. If you're a prophet himself, he is guaranteeing to go to heaven. Why he is asking the Muslim to pray for him? And the funny is, always the word salah in Arabic means prayer. The Muslim, they say, oh no, this is mean a blessing, blessing. You say this is a stupid thing to say. Because blessing does not add anything to you if you are in heaven anyway. You know, bless me when I'm and, and I am in heaven. If Muhammad guaranteed he was going to go to heaven, why he need your blessing? If Allah, what is more blessing than being in heaven? What does that mean? Stupid, amazing, you know, yuck, diarrhea. If Muhammad is the favorite of Allah, and he is going to be in heaven, why he need your prayer? Why you call people coward, you don't show my face? What my face have to be debating you? If my face will help in debating you, I will show my face. But my face is not what people want. I'm not doing fashion show. 
And what about you ask the God you worship and you bow down and you show your ass when you pray to him five times a day to show his face? I'm not your God. Isn't it your God, he says in the Quran, it's not for Allah to speak to anyone except from behind the veil? Your God, Allah, is a burqa man. This is the Quran, let me show you. Why don't show us your face if you are brief? What do you want to do my face? This is your God, chapter 43, verse number 52, it says, Allah never speak to anyone except from behind a veil, a female God. And war? Is your God Allah wearing a black veil? Ask your God to show himself. You never saw him, you never heard even his fault. How do you know he exists? For the Christian, their God came to them. Their God came to Abraham. Where's your God? Do we have any Abdul want to call us? Who is here first time? If you are here first time, I feel sorry for you. You will get addicted. And <laughs> I advise you to hang up and leave. <laughs> you will come because here it's a it's like you know people they learn yes, uh, and the answer has come in the speed of light yes. But the spank is so hard, brother. And the Muslim look really bad. Let us see this guy. Is he a Muslim? I don't know what he is. Let us see what's the guy. Hello? Yes, are you a Muslim? Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you? I'm oh, fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I saw your your question saying uh, why I accept the Bible to be confirmed, why right? Consider it, why yeah. you consider it as a reliable source, yeah. Yeah, but did you see the answer in the Quran? The Quran says, as long as you speak Arabic, I notice you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, but what does the Quran have to do with your Bible? Pretend I was an atheist. You are an atheist? You are an atheist? Pretend, pretend I'm an atheist. You, you, can, you can pretend. Muslims they pretend always anything, you know? But this is why, why, I want to, why I want to assume that you're an atheist when you are saying to you I'm Muslim. So for me, I have a clear proof from your book. Because you wouldn't tell, you wouldn't tell the atheist because the Quran says No so. problem. If you an atheist, atheist, if an atheist he call me, I will answer an atheist. If a Muslim he answer, uh, I call me, I will answer a Muslim. So why I want to waste my time go from zero when I have a proof from your book saying... Because it's more objective. It's more objective if no, you go no, towards... No, 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 no. You know, for a Muslim, do, do, you, do you Muslim accept what the atheists believe? No, okay, so if, if, if I show you the proof, which is for the atheist, my friend, zero. if I speak about a, 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 a logic of an atheist, then you will say, I don't accept what the atheists accept anyway. And you just said to me that, you know, so I'm wasting my time. But I have in front of you, I have in front of you, verse from the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 89 says, confirming what is with them. So your book confirm what is with us, what we will do now. That's two different things, so what, what do because, you mean? Because again, if if I was a Muslim and I asked you this, uh, you stop saying know, if I was not. not. You are you are a Muslim, so if, this is not the case. So now the the Bible is confirming your book. Do you have anything okay, against your book? My, can can you just try to understand my point? For a I second? understand your point, but there's no point What's in your point, point because first you are not an atheist. Okay, let us do this. I want you to say, I, I don't believe in Muhammad, Allah is a fraud, Muhammad is a fraud, and I will answer you as an atheist. Go ahead. What? 
اوكي اسد ما حينفع طبعا طيب لو واي يو ستار جوينج سو سو واي يو ار ويستين ماي تايم ماي فريند ماي فريند وات از ذا اي يو جيف مي واتس يور نيم واتس يور نيم واتس يور نيم ماي فريند واتس يور نيم واتس يور نيم واتس اول كول يو واتس ذا اي واتس اول كول يو تشابتر 2 فيرس نمبر I'm showing you on the screen. You can read it on screen. I don't have my thing open like that. Okay. My, my YouTube. One second. Well, you better open uh, your YouTube. You can mute it so you can you can read in the same time, both of us. So, uh, please read the ayah. Okay. And you, you can read it. You know, if you want to read in Arabic, you can read in Arabic. If you want to read in English, it says, وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Does it say Musaddiqun Lima Ma'ahum? Yeah. Okay. Believing, what is, what is believing in it in what is with them. What was what's Musaddiq? Mean believing. Musaddiq mean believing. Believe and yani, confirming. Believing mean believing. It's more than confirming because confirm is just agreeing. Here it's Musaddiq. That's mean I believe in it. Wahid is a Saddaq Haja. Saddaq Haja is to give. Huh? Sadaq. Sadaq. When you say the word Sadaqa, Sadaqa came in from the word Sadaqa, which means he said the truth. So Musaddiqan Lima Mahum mean he agreeing and believing in what so, is with them. Abu Bakr al Sadiq is called Abu Bakr al Sadiq because he believed in what Muhammad he brought to him, correct? Okay. So okay. He, so Musaddiq so is, is, is the one is the one who believed. Musaddiq is the one who believed in what is with them. So now, the, even the Muslim the, translation, my friend, my friend, don't waste my time. First of all, your Arabic is not good. Secondly, it says here, even your translation says, confirming what is with them. Do you have a problem with that? And now, let me explain the confirming. The confirming oh. is that it confirms the hajat al the truthful part in their books. Uh, first yeah. of all, you are adding things. Does it say? Does it say in the verse, confirming only the truth? Some of the truth, some of it, it says confirming what is with them. Are you saying to me that somebody took the verse, play with it, no, and he took those words off? To, first of all, first of all, we need to read the ayahs in context. Read the ayah, no problem. Go read. Who's, when, who? you read the ayahs, when you read the ayahs in context, you start part Read the ayah seven. in contact, no problem. Go ahead. Yeah, you start when you start from 87. Read and from any, you can read it from verse number one. I don't care. No, I'll start from 87. It says, We gave Moses the scripture, mm. and we sent messengers after him in succession. We gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear mm. signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Mm. So how is that whenever a messenger brings you something you do not like, you become arrogant, calling some imposters and killing others? Mm. They say our hearts are uh, impenetrably wrapped. But mm. God has rejected them for their disbelief. Mm. They have little faith. When a scripture came to them from God, confirming what they already had in Nazam, what they already had is what? The belief in one God, to follow the prophet. Well, that's, that's, that's your fabrication, my friend. You are adding things. It's, it's, not, no in it's, not, in it's not in the Quran. 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 It says, confirming in what is with them. There's no addition. Say, yeah. Yeah, say it. It doesn't have to say it here. We look at Quran, we look at the Okay, so the, you are saying that the verse in the Quran is not clear. We have to add words to fix it. So the Arabic of Allah is that's not good. Not, that, that's not what I said. That's well, not what I said. I said so so why you are ayah. adding words? Why you are adding words to the Quran if the Quran doesn't say that? If the Quran is clear, is the Quran a clear book? I'm not. I'm elaborating for you. No, I'm asking you, is the Quran, is the Quran by itself is enough for anyone to understand? With the Arabic language, yeah, it should be good. Okay, the Arabic language, yeah. for me, I speak Arabic better than you. Obviously, you don't speak good Arabic. It says here, مصدق, مصدق Believing in what is with them, not some of them. Allah can add the word some. He can say, Bid on, little of what he have, 
He did not say that. He says, "Musaddiqun lima ma'hum." Believe in what they have. Let us go to different different verse. Here we go. You see this one. This one is not going to be just to show you. But now, as long as you claim you speak Arabic, you know you cannot you cannot turn away from it. Chapter two, verse number ninety-one. What we will do with this one? Same thing. No, it's adding. Here, it's even. It's even adding the word the truth. Even if it be the truth, even it be the truth, confirming, confirming what is with them, confirming what is with them, not some of what is with them. So the truth is what is with them. Let us go to the different verse. We will keep jumping. No problem. Chapter two. Exactly. Chapter two. Chapter two. Verse number one o one. Read carefully. Read again. You just said confirming. You just said yes, confirm. Yes, confirm. Actually, confirm, confirm is not a good translation. So we, more than confirm, believing, believing. Continue. Here it says, and when they come to them, a messenger from Allah confirming what is with them, not what was. Here, translation is false. I'm going to send you a link on our message. Uh, I don't open I links, my friend. You can read. You can read for me. You can tell me what you want. Oh, okay. Go to, go to a website called corpus.quran. Uh, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Word. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. La, you can see that musaddaq is is coming from confirming. It's confirmation. No problem. So how you can confirm something is not true? It confirms the truthful parts, of course. Okay, okay. hold on. So guys, that does the okay, does the verse does the verse say is confirming the truthful part only? Who will help? Who will help? Musaddaq The truth. Yes, musaddaq limamahum. Okay. So okay. Now, so now I'll it's confirming I'll what is with them. I'll does it say? I'll I'll does it say time. in the verse, my friend? Does it say in the verse? Any of those verses I gave you, confirming some of what they have with them, or it says confirming yeah. what is with them. Yeah, I'll tell you an example. Al hmm. today, and then Anas, they say, and no, Ibrahim doesn't exist. Kamasal. Hmm. Right. You speak in English. Speak in English. Say, speak in English. You have some people that say that Abraham does not exist. Okay. So, okay. Right now, the fact that Muhammad وسلم, says this and we believe him, hmm. any Muslim that ends up believing him, by default, we believe anything that came before that he speaks about. Therefore, Abraham is real, despite there not being any historical evidence. For him, hmm. makes sense. Okay. So now, when it comes to when it comes to the Bible, the actual Bible or the Old Testament, New Testament, hmm. has a, a truth that it talks about the truthful parts that, for example, the Bible that we as Muslims cannot agree to. Okay, because I want I want to ask you. I want to make something simple for you. Sure. Is do Muhammad have the Bible in his time, or he don't? Like, do he have the Old Testament in his time? The Old Testament. Yeah. So Old Testament, not New Testament. The Old Testament. Sure. I'm talking about the Old Testament. Let us go one by one. Do Muhammad Do Muhammad have the Old Testament, the correct one, in his time? I don't know if it's an. Exactly what do you need to know? You just said to me about Abraham. So how he's confirmed some of it? If you do not know anything about it, do Muhammad know anything about the Torah? Yeah, he does. Okay, okay. how he knows. We believe he got information from Allah. Okay, uh, if he got the information from Allah, then he got the Torah. What do you, do you mean? Do your prophet knows how to read Arabic no. or Hebrew? No. If he I did. give you now, if I give you now the Torah and I say I want you to swear on the book of the Torah, are you going to, willing to swear or you swear in the Quran only? Are you talking about the situation where those Jews came to him? And I'm not asking about situation. I'm asking you if I give you the Torah and are the you, Quran. Which one you are going to swear on, the Torah or the Quran or both? No, I swear on the Quran, of course. Because why? Muslim. Why you don't swear in the Torah? Because I don't. Because I, I I follow the Quran. I don't follow the Torah. But isn't it isn't it isn't it supposedly uh, Moses is a Muslim prophet? 
what does Muslim mean? واحد بس أسأل. This is another question now. So you see, you Muslims, you play games. So is is the Torah is the book of Allah too, or the book of uh, Shish Kebab? No, we believe it's a divine. Okay, so I'm asking you, why you don't want to why you don't want to swear in the Torah if the Torah is the book of Allah? If there was absolutely no Quran around, no nothing, and there was only the Torah, and I had the New Testament and the Old Testament, I would swear on the Old Testament over the New Testament. Okay, why well, you want to swear in the Old Testament if you do not know even how to read the Old Testament? No, there's translations, they do just fine, and then I Let can Let us say you exist in the time of Muhammad, you don't have translation. How you can swear in a book you never read? Excuse me, say that again. How you say it, you swear there's a translation, that's why you will swear. So now, I'm asking you, in the time of Muhammad, there was no translation for the Torah. Should you swear in the Hebrew Torah? No. Why? Well, at the time of Muhammad, I wouldn't probably be a Jew either. I would probably be a Muslim. This is another question. This is another question. You said you are willing to pray. There is no Quran. So, in the time of Muhammad, are you willing to swear in the Torah, in the Hebrew? Why would I swear on the Hebrew? Why not? I don't understand. This is the only book. This is the only book. The book Allah He sent to them in Hebrew. Allah did not send in English. Allah did not send in Arabic. He sent in Hebrew. So if you are saying that, if you are saying the Torah is the book of Allah, why you don't want to swear in the book which Allah gave them, which is in Hebrew? I'm trying to understand your question. Is it before Islam? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let us say. Let us say after Islam. Let us say after Islam. Muhammad is there, and they give you the Torah, and they say to you, swear in the Torah. Are you willing to swear in the Torah in Hebrew? The Prophet told me to do it, I'll do it. This is not a question. If the Prophet told me to do it, I'll do it. If he said, are, let, do us it, say, do it. let us say you were there after 10 years of Muhammad died. Are you going to do it or not? No. Why not? Because by then the Quran has been compiled. I would I swear on the Quran. So you are saying to me, Muhammad, before he have the Quran complete, he have to believe in the Torah. No. So you just said that to me, you said to me, because by then the Quran was going, and now let us, let us, you see, uh, okay, so if the Quran is not compiled together, you will swear in the Torah. That's mean the Torah is a correct book. If the Prophet tells me to do it, I'll do it. If it's another question, not it, there's another question. You see, you are escaping the, you know, trying to skip. I, I'm do you not, swear I'm by the Torah? Is the Torah, is the Torah, is the Torah and a, a good book for you to swear in? Yes or no? Over the New Testament, yes. This is over another question. Quran, I don't talk about over, over the New Quran. Testament. I'm asking about the Torah. Is the Torah a good book for you to swear on? Yeah, probably. Probably. If I had to choose, if I had to choose life or death, yes, I'd swear on it. Okay. Because well, the Old Testament, the, the book of Moses says that God has a spirit and God, he came to Abraham as a man. What do you would do with that? Do you accept? It's not, it doesn't actually mean a man, man. Even no, it Jewish came to him rabbis, as, they came to him as a man. Rabbis, no, he came, he came to him, he came to him, it's not up to you. He came to him as a man. It's what, not up to are you either. going? It's up to Jewish rabbis. Jewish exactly, rabbis, exactly. It's up to the, okay, no problem. Accord, no, it's, it's not, man. first of all, my friend, listen, it's not up to the Jewish rabbi, it's not about, up to the Christian priest, it's up to the book what it says. Do I agree? Okay. Okay. The book says the book says as a man, but it's an angel, and it's a form and it's a message that he came as a revelation. That's the only. That's how it came. That's how it means. What, Jacob, what, what, Jacob what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? God. What? What? Do you, hold on. Hold on, my friend. Hold on. What? 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 So you are saying to me, God, he came as an angel now? No. Okay. Because so let says, me repeat the question again. Did God came to Abraham as a man? And actually, all the one who came to him, they came as men. If you go to Genesis chapter 18, verse number 2, and verse number 1, you can read it, says, And Abraham looked down, he saw three men standing nearby. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. One of them is God. Is that correct? One of them was the angel. They're angels. No, one of oh. them is God. If you go to verse number 10, it says, Then the Lord said, The Lord, the Lord is speaking there, the Lord. Again, since you and I have, I didn't open the verse. I can open the verse. I don't care. So, according to the Jews and according to the Christian and according to everybody, God, He came to Abraham as a man. It's not up to you. So now I'm asking you: Do you accept that God came as a man 
as what the Bible says in the Old Testament. You say to me, you are willing to swear on the Torah, and this is what the Torah says. What you would do? For starters. For huh? starters. What? I said for for starters. What Jews starters? Are we are we are we buying a bicycle? We are talking about God. What starters? I said to begin with in my response. What begin with? Um, that's another question. Are you going to yeah, accept? Are you accept? Are you accepting a book that says that God came as a man? Jews don't believe that it was. No, God Jews they believe that, and I'm I'm, I'm no, willing to don't. show you. I'll show you. I'm I'll willing to show you that. Is that, that you. I'm willing to show you. So no, no, it's not, it's not up to you. 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 Secondly, and it's not up to you. No, either, right? here we go. I will, I will open the Jewish Orthodox Bible. Do you accept that? Yeah. Huh? What's the verse you're talking about again? Give I'm talking about Genesis chapter 18. Read it from the beginning. So I can open for you the Jewish Bible, the Jewish, not the Christian book, not the, the you know, the translation, of the, the Jewish books. What you would do then? You would say, I don't accept. Here we go. This is the Jewish, this is the Hebrew Orthodox Jewish Bible. Orthodox Jewish Bible. And Hashem appeared unto him. Do you see the word Hashem? I can't open the page. Can I don't care. The, you see, you are, playing, your, you are playing games. I your... yeah, you are playing games. So now I'm asking you. It's confirmed that the Jews, they believe that Hashem, like, like a God, he came to Abraham as a man. So now I'm asking you. If a man, he swear in a book, it says God came as a man. Do you accept him to be a good man or he is a stupid man? No, I actually don't. I don't believe that he's, uh, what's it called? It's not up to you, the book in the front of your eyes, my friend. What's wrong with you? He said Hashem. And Hashem, Hashem is, a, is a, a one of the titles they use for God or names. So Hashem appeared into Abraham as a three person, three men. It's in the front of you. This is the Jewish language. And this is the Orthodox Jewish book. Where is the source? Can you share the source in the chat? It's in the front of you. The Orthodox Jewish Bible. I'm showing the screen. <laughs> Orthodox. Orthodox. So until you find the source, I'm asking you, do you accept to take an oath in a book that says God came as a man? Yes or no? No, I would not. So why, you're, not, so why your so why again, your prophet then again, why so I why have, your prophet then that. you see you got your prophet busted What's, so why no, your prophet then accept to swear in the Torah the book which says that God came as a man? First of all, he's when he swore I, and I knew it. That's and I asked you this question and oh, I, I know it and I know you, you know it. it and I know I you know it you and I got you busted still. So now I'm asking you. You just said I don't accept to swear in a book says God came as a man. So how your prophet did that? How did the how did the hadith go when he said it? He says, "Amen, fiq, or amen, bil that revealed you, right?" That's okay, so I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Okay, exactly. So what's the problem? The problem is it's believed that God came as a man. <laughs> That's not how they actually see it, though. Today, if you what do you mean how they see it today? Rabbi, what do you mean that they see it? This is the Torah. This is the same Torah. What's the link for your website that you're looking I'm at? I'm using sunnah.com. Not your, oh, not that one. Sunnah.com. Oh, it's in the front of your the, eyes. I was talking about the Orthodox one. Yeah, well, you can, you can just type Orthodox Jewish Bible, Genesis 18, and you will see it. And here you go. Let me post it in the chat. I told you, open YouTube so you can see with me. Just mute YouTube so you can see the same thing I'm showing the screen. So now. Yeah. God, he came to Abraham as a man. You're a prophet, he swear in the Torah, which says that God is a man, or he came as a man. How your prophet, he took an oath in a book like that. What you just, what, by, sorry, what you just showed me, what you just showed me was just a just different translation of that verse. You didn't My friend, show me I showed Jewish, you the Jewish. You show I showed you. I showed you the Jewish. The, the, that's 
I showed you the Jewish. Listen, so listen. Fun. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. You know. Not yeah, 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 yeah. Not a single Jew will not accept because it, uh, you see, the Jews have to go by what the book is saying. Literally, they cannot make their own. It says Hashem. Hashem, he came. He came as what? As a three men. I just like. Can can I can I send you some things by then? Don't and send me things, my friend. Uh, wasting my time. So now you're a prophet. Do your prophet know Hebrew? No. So how he swear in a book? He do not know how what is is, is inside it. Because he believes in the one that revealed it. Oh, okay, guys. He believed. But maybe they gave him yellow pages book. How he know that this is the Torah? That they handed to him. Why yeah, they, this, it was a serious matter. Something was going on. What serious so matter? The guy he do not know Hebrew. He do not know what he's reading. He cannot read no. even a word. So they if I if I, I if I give a if I give a book to your prophet about Mickey Mouse and I say to him this is the Torah, how he will know that this is not the Torah? Then that's your call. But these men didn't want that. They came to him for a ruling. They, they were sincere and they came to him for a ruling. My friend, for book, this is, this is false. First of all, he Why is in their house. He is in their house, you know. The, he is in his house. He's not, they are not coming to him. He is yeah, in their they house. Invited him. They invited him. Exactly. So now I'm asking you. They gave him a book and then he took the book. He put it in the top of the cushion and he swore by it saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. How he knew what is in thee and how he knew that this is the book is sent by thee. So when we say that Allah sent the Torah and the Injil, we believe that we believe in their original. This is another question. They gave him a physical book. They gave him a, they gave him a physical book, my friend. We are not talking about the word Torah now. We are not talking about the word Torah. We are talking about a book, have pages made of papers or leather, and they gave it to him, put it in the front of him, and he put it, he took it physically. He didn't say, I believe in the Torah. He's saying about what is in the front of him. He took it, right, he put right. it in the question, showing a lot of respect. And then he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. My question to you, Muhammad do not know Arabic. Muhammad do not know Hebrew. So he cannot even read his name. How he can confirm that this is the book of God and how he swear by a book he cannot read. He cannot see what it contained. He cannot see in anything about it. Maybe it's not even a Torah. Maybe it's a shaitanic book. Maybe it's a book about magic. How he can confirm that this is the book of God? How he swear by that? Hey, that's a very big possibility. There's a big possibility that these people came and tricked him and they gave him a completely different book that has said nothing in it. And he said, hey, I believe in thee and believe in the one that sent thee with the full intention that this was the Torah. Okay, so you're a prophet is not inspired by God then because he is swearing by a book without knowing no, what is inside is the book. Premise. This is your premise, by the way. This is not the premise. No, the premise no, listen, 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 listen. I will not, I will not, I am not a fool to swear by a book. Maybe this book is written against my Messiah. Why I want to swear by it? A prophet of God, he have to be careful. He have to swear in a book. He knew what it says. He should know very well what it says word by word. Otherwise, taking a book saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee is a hypocrisy. Is it the Quran says that the Jews, they believe that Allah have a son, his name is Uzair? In the Torah, it doesn't say that. And it doesn't say in the Quran that they that it does say that. It says it's that the Jews, that. the Jews, they say, Rabbi. listen, listen, listen. The Jews, they say, Uzair is the son of Allah. How Muhammad knew that in the book they gave him, it doesn't say that Uzair is the son of Allah. Wahi. Huh? said wahi what wahi i said revelation he probably knows from allah told him allah told him allah told him that uzair is a son of allah but there is not a single jew believe in uzair there's nobody's name is uzair who's uzair ezra ezra is not uzair and there's and there's no jews believe in the guy his name is ezra and he's god there might have been some factions once upon a time. We don't well, know that. If this is the case, if this is the case, that's mean the Quran is a false because the Quran says the Jews, which means all the Jews, not some, maybe. Where is this ayah again? Chapter 9, verse number 30. Okay.
All right, I found it. So what's the what's the issue? You said maybe some of the Jews they believe in that. Is all the Jews or some of the Jews? It's probably some. So the Quran is wrong. Why? It didn't say all the Jews. No, it says it says That's, the Jews. It says the Jews. It says it the says Jews. The, yes, the when you say the Jews, it means the Jews. It doesn't say a sect of the Jews. It doesn't say some of the Jews. It says the Jews. The Jews no, says. They don't say that Jesus is the Son of God. No, so, no. So. First of all, Nasara is not a word for the Christian. Muhammad is a fool. He do not know what Nasara mean. Nasara have nothing to do. Nasara, Nasara are not even. Nasara are not even Christians. This is a false. It comes from Nazarenes. What are you talking about? No, those the word Nasara coming from the Nazarene, the one who called poor, poor in their understanding. Those are not a Christian. Those are a cult. Secondly, all what? the hold on, all the Christian they believe, as you see in the Quran says, all the Christian they say that the Christ is the Son of God. Do you agree? It didn't say all. It says all. It, it says and the Christian. Listen, don't waste my time. It Does it say it and the Christians? Christians? Does it say and the Christians? Yes. Okay. So all. if I say and the Muslims, it means all the Muslims. Otherwise, I should say some no. of the Muslims. No. If he's specific, he'll say he'll be specific. But you see, you are you are just you are insulting your God. You are saying the Quran is a stupid book and it's not a clear in Arabic. And now we have to add words to make it look nicer. So now you are no, adding the adding. word some. Let me do it for you. He said, guys, let us help this guy. So the Quran, when the Quran says the Jews, he meant the sum of the Jews. Let us add the word some. The Quran is not perfect. Be my witness. We have to add some words. Some of the Jews, not the Jews. This is wrong. Take that. Some. We will type some. Some. Hmm? Some of the Jews. Okay. Now the Quran looked better. Because obviously the Quran is a confusing book, and the one who said that, the Jews, is not God. This is maybe Muhammad. And then, when it says, and the Christian, the Quran is wrong. We need to fix it. So we need to say, some of the Christians. Are we happy now? So you are saying to me that your book is not a book of God. We have to add some of before the Jews, and some of before the Christian to make the Quran look nicer. So just because the word Christians believe, because it's, it's it's a it's an exact same comparison. Exactly, exact all same comparison. All, all the Christian Christians didn't believe. Not, no, there is not a single Christian. Today. There is not a single Christian. Stop fooling yourself. Not a you, single. You, you cannot be called a Christian. Christian. You cannot be called a Christian if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Stop lying. Secondly, the, the, the Quran, the Quran is against you. you. The Quran is against you. The Quran is not saying some of the Christian, saying the Christians. I didn't say it said some. I never said it said some. No, I'm you said you that. You said you said some. You said you said you said some of the you Jews added, believe added, in Hosea. Maybe you, you, you said added. you said you said some of the Jews believe in Hosea. Maybe correct? Did you say that? There was a, there's a possibility that some of them had that kind of understanding. Yes, okay, so Why so not? now the Quran is wrong then because if some of them. Why no, Allah? It, okay, it you, are they okay? You the when you say zibda, some, you my friend, you go to 30, when you say you when you say some, when you say some, are they the majority or the minority? Some minority. Exactly. So you cannot judge the majority by the minority. That is the most stupid thing ever. So no, if, if, if if a few of them they send they send you just you, take, you just expose your God. If some of them believe, you don't say the Jews believe. You say some of the Jews because they are the major the minority. Then what is the majority believe? So now Allah He made a mistake. If some of the Jews believe, then this verse is wrong. If some of the Christian believe, that means this is wrong because they are the minority, not the majority. No, He'll give you. He gives you the the point in thirty one. If you go just another ayah mm. after, mm. he'll give you the point. The, the the verse number 31 is more horrible. Read in Arabic and laugh. It says, They took their their monks, their their their, uh, their rabbi and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. So the verse after it making the Messiah God. Because it says instead, min dun illahi wal masih, and you claim you speak Arabic, read it. Yeah, I'll open it now.
<laughs> Disaster. Instead of Allah and the Messiah, they worship who? They are worshiping their rabbi. This is the word rabbi. And their monks in front of you, and you speak Arabic. As gods, Arbaban, Minduni, instead, Allah and the Messiah. So what they should do? They should worship one God, which is Allah, Aka the Messiah. Messiah is God. So here, it's actually a takhidu. What happened to your tongue? Your tongue is gone. Speak in Arabic. Read in Arabic. Let us laugh. Read, read in Arabic and let us laugh. And read in Arabic and translate. I challenge you. I challenge you to read one word by word and translate yourself. اتخذوا اهبارهم ورهبانيهم اربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم اها ترانسليت so they took so they took the they took their rabbis mm -hmm. and their monks uh -huh. as their lords uh -huh. من دون الله what men do mean and they took don't don't no, stop stop what men do mean without no, instead, right? And besides, without, Bedun. Mindun is instead, instead, okay. Without. Okay. Instead of Allah and the Messiah, correct? No, and they're saying, no, it says, Wal Messiah ibn Maryam. Okay, no, 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 translate. Why you, why, you, why, you, why you jump, why you skip? They took their, God, their, 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 their rabbis and their monks as God. Mindun, what Mindun mean? Instead, not beside, Mindun. Mindun, Allah, Wal Messiah. Instead of Allah and the Messiah. Wa al Messiah. Wa al -Messiah. Exactly. And the Messiah. Allah and the Messiah, Wa, La is harf out of. Shuf, Dagiga. I wanted you to go to the Corpus Quran as well so that you can see, <laughs> you can also see the grammar. My friend, I know what the Muslim they say. I see it here. I see they're trying to fix the problem. They say, oh, the word Messiah is coming after, but they meant they took their monks and their rabbis as God and the Messiah instead of Allah. But the Arabic doesn't say that. However, look well, what happened now. Look what, not, look what happened. Look what happened. What happened. Just to show you, just to show you that you're a prophet. Listen, listen. listen. Let me show you that your prophet is a fraud. Can you name for me one Jew and one Christian he took his monk or rabbi as God. Kathir. Who? Show me one. There's so many people that pray to saints. What are you talking about? We pray, no, you see, we pray to the saint. We ask the saint to pray for us. You're a liar. Yeah, you pray to the saint. You use it as a... No, we ask the, the saint God. to pray for us. We ask the saint. We ask the saint. I ask my brothers God. here. I ask my brother here to pray for me. Doesn't mean they are God. They are praying to God. So I'm asking you now. Name for me one Christian, one Jew, he prayed to his rabbi as God. Because the word in the front of us says, as Lord, as God. Yeah, they take them as Lord. We don't. Rob, That's a lie. Rob Rob That's a lie. Like That's a lie, my friend. Your Rob, God is a liar. Your God is a liar. And now, let us see, the one who pray, the one who pray to a man is praying to God, right? So why the Quran says, Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah Wait, and his angels they are move? praying. Why did we move? Why did we move from this talk? We are talking about three? you are the one who mentioned to me to go first number 31. You forgot? Yeah, but why did you move from that? Now you want We are to not, that, we right? are not. Because you are trying to explain to me. You are the one who says to me, Well, there's many Christians, they pray and they pray to the saint and they believe they are God. That is a false. But in fact, is it is you Muslims and Allah who pray to Muhammad. Am I lying? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Say that again. Isn't it My the Quran point. says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah, okay. Okay, Allah and his angels, they pray on, on the Prophet, correct? Pray? Yeah. Yusalloon, what yusalloon mean? Salloon comes from like salutations. Now you do not know what yusalloon mean, guys. Now yusalloon, do not, you do not know what yusalloon mean. Yusalloon mean they pray. No. So, what the word salah yeah, mean? What the word salah? What the word salah mean? What the word salah mean? What the word salah mean? Salah means comes from sila to connect, to make a connection. Okay, what the word salah mean? Mean a prayer, correct? No, it means to make a connection. 
Okay. So, so we, do, we uh, do it in the form of. Workshop. Okay, okay. I want you to explain to me, the, the guys. It makes connection. You see, I mean, it's the hypocrisy is amazing. So now, if I show you the same word, the word you salli in the Quran, is it making connection or praying to Allah? You know, I'm actually writing notes to this conversation because I'm going to send My you. Friend, a bunch of it's recorded. It's recorded. recorded. You can download it later. You can put it in your page. Listen, yeah. the word you salli, you salli, you salli. Does it mean pray or not? You salli? Uh -huh. you know, the one that you're talking about? No, it doesn't. What? In Allah, they salloon al Nabi. This is not salah, salah, yani salah that we're talking about. This is not what, what salah mean? What the word salah mean? I told you it means connection. It comes from sila, which is okay. So guys, to okay, I, I will go with you. You see, the Muslim they're trying to, to to fix it, but they make the blind. So now Allah and the angels they are trying to make connection with the Prophet. Solve this problem for me now. How Allah and the angels they are trying to make connection with the Prophet. Into, you speak Arabic, so into the My friend, I speak Arabic, Arabic but I'm your prophet. Listen, listen carefully. I want you to you continue what you just said. You just said, meaning. you just said that you Allah that and the angels, they are trying to make connection with the prophet. So Allah, well, Allah is a man. You asked me, you asked me what salah is. Yes, I'm you asking you. No, I ask you. I ask you what the word you saluna mean. You said mean connection. <laughs> I said Salah, salah comes from the word. Sila. Okay, let us go back to zero. Connection. Forget That's about what came from where. Forget about who came from where. Tell me what the word you saloon. In Allah wa malaikatahu you saloon al Nabi. What Allah is doing when He says you saloon? Go ahead. The salutations or blessings or. Salutation, yeah. blessing. So okay, I will go with not, you now. So listen, is your prophet going to go to heaven or not? Is your prophet going to go to heaven guaranteed or not? Yeah, we believe so. So what 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 the blessing for if the guy is in heaven? Why would why does God send a salutation to the prophet? Is that what the guy asking? is in heaven? I mean, there's there is more than heaven. The guy is in heaven. Allah will give him the favorite place. It's kind of it's Listen, Allah will give him the best of the places in the corner lot in the heaven. A lot of women for him. So now, what is the blessing Muhammad will receive additional to that? What that would do exactly? It has nothing to do with him. It's what do you have to do with him? It his, says, his, his it says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels praying on the Prophet. So what do you mean? That, it doesn't say, it doesn't mean anything to him. Yeah, Ibn, Ibn Adam. One second. Hmm. Hina, we have in the Quran, we also have in the Quran where Allah tells Muhammad that he will raise his status. And now him being, when Allah also says, yusalluna Okay, malaikat. raise his status. Let us go there. Inna rafana laka dhikraka. Yeah. Is it dhikraka or the karaka? And the rafana like dhikrak. Well, the karaka. How? Fine. Either way, it could work. Either way, could either work. way can work. But isn't it the karaka mean penis? No. What do you mean? No, it's the remembrance. Remembrance? Dhikr. What remembrance? Dhikr. It comes from the word dhikr. The dhikr means to constantly remind you, remember. Comes from remembering. Okay, let me ask so, you. So we're, we're let me, let me ask you. Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he used to suffer from, suffer from his penis? So why why are you so obsessed with stuff like that? I am why not obsessed. It's, you, it's you, you Muslim. Know, it's your we'll books. Every, you see, the funny is, is the funny is when we when we show them what their prophet saying, they say obsessed. I am quoting your prophet. We say, is it your prophet who says I was the most weak person between all mankind? In, in, in his penis, and then what? Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab, he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. So this is what the verse is saying, Allah, he make what? his penis straight. Prove me wrong. Say that again. Ente, you scream, so I can't really hear you properly. Can you say that one more time? Okay, we cannot talk at the same time. Thank you very much. When you say to me, you mention to me this verse. It says here, we remove, okay. remove your burden, which is breaking your back. Is that correct? What 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 verse are we talking? The about? verse you mentioned to me. It's you who mentioned to me. This is the chapter of the Sharh, chapter ninety four, chapter ninety four, chapter ninety four, verse number one, two, three, four, five, etc. So here is speaking about Muhammad have a problem, and this problem is a breaking his back.
also where's the breaking your back? Yeah, what is breaking the back of Muhammad? Alladhi anqadha dharak. Uh-huh. And he had a, his weight was heavy on him and he lifted the weight. Okay, according to Islam, is it the Quran says, min bayni sulbi wa taraib, that the sperm of the man is coming from his backbone and the ribs of the women? What? Isn't it the Quran so says you, that Allah, I'm, I'm just showing you what what is the weight is in, on his back. So Muhammad, he think that because he cannot have sex, he have a problem in his back, the backbone. <laughs> this is what you, this is how you interpret it. I am Muhammad not the one who interpreted it. Okay, listen, listen, there's other verse in the Quran that says the following. Can you give me the reference, please? Would sure. You find it. Chapter one thirteen, verse number. You can read it. It's just a few verses, anyway. You can read it all. Okay. What about it? Isn't it this is isn't it this is chapter two is about the penis of Muhammad? Excuse me? Isn't it this is chapter? All of it is about the penis of Muhammad. One one three? Yeah. How how are you uh, okay. to that conclusion? It says here that Muhammad praying to Allah, somebody he did mischievement, right? And somebody he did you know he he blow in the knot. He blow in the knot. Do you agree? What? What are you talking? He blow in the knot. He blow in the knot. In sharin nafatat if you Do you not know? You don't understand? This is what sorcerers do. Okay. So what the sorcerer did to Muhammad, his penis doesn't work no more. What? So the ayah of the surah. Let's let's read it together. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbi al Falak. Uh huh. I'd say I seek refuge by the Lord of the dawn, hmm. right? Uh -huh. And shadli ma uh -huh. from the evil, like I seek refuge from the evils of what he created, okay. stuff like a lion or I don't know, natural disaster. No, this is talking about this is talking about witchcraft. What? Talking what, about what, witchcraft. Let me, can we, can you? No, this part here, min shadri ma khalaq, this part okay. specifically is talking about al shar al hajat al khalaq Allah. Al hajat tijmi minna shar, but it's not, it's just part of nature, like a lion. Read the verse number four, you will see it is about what? The giga, the giga. And then the next ayah, the next ayah, wa min shadri, wa min shadri ghasifin iza waqab. Right, so evil, the harm in the night. So what happens at night? Usually evil comes at night. Robbers, thieves, kids. Mm -hmm. So we're we're seeking refuge from. So those what kinds witchcraft have to do with thieves? This is witchcraft. And then woman shadli. Don't 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 tell me the qiqa. I'm wait, asking wait, you. Don't wait, tell me a second. Wait. Listen. What witchcraft have to do with thieves? Now, this is the third kind of protection we're asking. No for no. This, this is talking specifically the about witchcraft. Protection. This is talking yeah, specifically about somebody blowing in the knot. Doing witchcraft, there's no yeah, thief, there's no criminals, so don't yeah. add things. No, I'm asking you. No, no one's adding anything. You're the one that's adding. You are saying thieves. You are the one saying the thieves. Illa, because this what happens in the night. What? No, okay. it says like, witchcraft. What, like, do the do the thief use witchcraft to steal your, your property? It says what? What? The word what means and. Means no, no. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Oh, okay. So it's also a new wa. So okay. wa, wa, wa. The listen, listen, wa, listen. The first. Uh, my friend. Do you accept Muslim interpretation for the verse? We talk Arabic. Why do we want to go look at interpretation? Why not? Why let's, not? Let's because because you, you will say to me, uh, it doesn't say that, you know? Why I want to waste your time and my time? No, it's, you're not even listening to what I'm saying to begin uh, with. No, I'm listening. Listen. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. So I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you. Uh, 
Why want to waste our time? Shall we go and see the interpretation no. for the verse? So you and I speak Arabic. Why do you want to look at interpretation? So you Arabic don't want to see the interpretation because the interpretation is saying that this is about the penis. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right here. What does what does the letter wa? My friend, don't tell me Akhoi. Tell the Muslims, your scholars. The scholars they say you're that my, this is the penis. You're not my brother and Adam. You're my brother and Adam. My friend, I'm oh. not asking about you saying your brother. This is not my question. I'm saying to me, I'm saying to you, mm. if your scholars they say it's about penis, then it's about penis. What we would do? What do you mean that's not your business? What do you mean not your business? Those are your scholars. <laughs> Listen, man. I don't know what to call you. That's why I keep. My friend, up, what, is, what, is what title. is that? Your but, scholar saying this is about the penis of the prophet? Yes or no? The scholar. It's, that's his interpretation. His mid. Thank you very mind. much. So now we agree that the scholars agree that your prophet penis have a problem, and he claimed that somebody he used witchcraft over his which, penis. Which scholar? Which scholars? Which scholars? Ibn Abbas. He says so. I can show you tons of them. Exam as an example, you know. Go to Tafsir al Bayan, Bayan al Saada, go to Tafsir, listen, Kalam al Arab, Wakaf fi Kalam al Arab, Kala ibn Abbas, fi Kitab in Nakash al Ghasiku either Wakaf, Dakar or Rajul. And Ibn Abbas fi Kauli Hitala, Mishari Ghasik, neither Wakab, Kala Huakiamu Dakar. Wakat Asnada who bother a ruatu either a Suri Allah, he saw Allah, what he was a lamb. Kala fi Tafsiri. Is the Let us translate. So on Ibn Abbas, he said, when Allah he says, when Sharri Rasiqani the Waqab, call it is the penis getting harder and getting standing up. And that is based to Rasulullah. And this is reported some from the some narrator from the Prophet of Allah. The book, Ihya Ulum al-Din, volume number three. Give me your reference. No. <laughs> You're showing me what other people thought. It doesn't matter. Yes, exactly. Are. So why you Muslim you say what? why you why you Muslim you want why you Muslim will say that this is about the penis of the Prophet when it's not about the penis of the Prophet? Let me let, let me make the question simple. Is it is it true? Is it is it true? Let, let's let's solve the problem. Is it true that your prophet is it true? Is it true that your prophet penis doesn't work? Which Darani, man? I don't. I never even thought. Okay, about it was Darani. Was Darani? Oh. I will show you was Darani. Here we go. That's your prophet. This is your prophet wife. Who knows better? The prophet wife. She is reporting that the prophet he can't even have sex. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. And this is because of the witchcraft. So Muhammad he claimed that the reason he cannot have sex, his penis is not working because somebody he did use the knots and he control him and his penis is not working no more. Read this hadith, it's da'if, go ahead. It's look, daif, what, look what Aisha she said. Look, so again, you're just showing, and I'm, we're trying to talk Quran, and you go and you're showing what people said. My what do you mean what people? This is Aisha. Who, who knows better what happened to your, the Prophet how penis? Do you know, how, do, how do you know she said these words? How do you know she said anything? How do you know that the Quran said by anyone? You were not there anyway too. So I have what I have in my hand today. You have it in your hand. You have the hadith too in your hand. This is the hadith reported from the, the time hadith, of Muhammad. Hadith doesn't bring hadith doesn't bring me barakah. I'm not bound by hadith. No, I'm you are bound, bound because I just I'm showed you the Quran. I showed you the Quran. Okay, by, let me ask I'm you: bound. Do you believe that your prophet was bewitched? Yes or no? Yeah, I heard there was. A okay, story thank you. Like you just said you heard. So how you say you be heard? Do you heard that? Did you hear that from the Quran or from the hadith? No, from the hadith. But you just said you believe in it. Excuse me. You just said you believe in it. I said I believe in what? Do you believe that your prophet was bewitched? Yeah. Okay. You just said then you believe in the hadith. I never said I don't disbelieve in hadith. Okay. I just the hadith said, in front I of you. The hadith bound. in the front of you, I'm it says bound. you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He don't have sex with his wives no more. He have a problem. He imagined himself having Christian. sex. In fact, he did okay. not. I'm going to call you Christian if that's okay. Call you me as mind. whatever you want, my friend. So this is saying in front of you, and as don't you believe in the Christian. hadith? Don't don't you agree that the a prophet wife she know better than you what happened in the bedroom? What what's this hadith that you have up right now? You have a hadith up. Can you this is hadith. The, the it says the prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives. In fact, he did not. Yeah. Can you please give me the reference? So if you don't mind. 
صحيح البخاري حيث نمبر 6063 بخاري So what do you think? Yeah, I'm reading it. So I'm almost done. Okay, so how does this have to do with the ayah we were talking about? Listen carefully. To... Listen carefully. The ayah speak, speaking about Muhammad suffering from witchcraft. The interpretation, the, interpre the interpretation wait, wait, we showed you. Doesn't talk about witchcraft. Him suffering from witchcraft. It doesn't say anything about Muhammad. It says about Muhammad. You see, we, we mentioned two chapters. You are the one who mentioned them to me. You forgot the chapter of Al Sharah, chapter 94. It says there's weighted your back. The back of Muhammad is not functioning. And you said you can agree. It can be dhikraka, it can be the karaka. It's the same. The karaka means penis. Dhikraka, it means remembrance. But the problem here is obviously there's a there's a problem. You know, there's a hardship. He's suffering from something. What he's suffering from? From We go to the other verse. The other verse says that Muhammad, he was under witchcraft. And a Jewish guy, he controlled him by magic. Is that correct? But that, this ayah, have nothing to do with this, him being inspired by... Listen, let, okay, let us, let, us, let us take it in a simple way. This is for us Muslims... No problem. No, 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 my friend, my friend. Okay, okay. <laughs> the hadith I showed you, do you agree with it or not? Which hadith? The one just now? The one I showed you, Sahih right Bukhari, now? yeah. Whatever, uh, yeah, it could possibly happen. True. Okay, so now, so me and you agree now that Muhammad is under witchcraft, and he have a problem with sex. Do we agree? And here in the, let's, so do you mind? Let's just read it. Let me read it in Arabic. Thank you. I'm, uh, I read it in English. All this time to read this? I can read it in two seconds. No, I have to, I have to open it again, sorry. Just found that now. It says that the Prophet, he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. It doesn't, it doesn't see, in Arabic, it doesn't actually say sex. Like having no, sex, it says it just that. Say, just, Yes, Ya'ti Ahlahu is mean he cannot have sex. Ya'ti Ata Ahlahu means he could not have sex. He says here, my friend, my friend, listen, don't waste my time. You see, the second I notice that the person is being a kid, I will, don't force me to hang up on you, please. Even the Muslim translation saying he could not. Okay, listen, listen. Why the Muslim they will say sexual intercourse if it's not sexual intercourse? Why you Muslim in the translation? Why you Muslim in the translation say so? That, that's their problem. That's the okay, my friend, that's my friend, anything I show you, it's their problem. Get lost. And they said to you, you hang up on people. I showed you the interpretation. This is their problem. You are showing me what people are saying. Aren't you people too? Maybe you're an angel. Maybe you're God. It's their problem. So anything I show him, you say it's their problem. No, it's not my problem. It's your problem. It's your book. <laughs> Let us call this guy. Uh, it's my problem, imagine. It's their problem.
what a joke. So a person he is under black magic, how we can trust him that he receive a, a, a word of God? Can you believe it? Hello? Hey, hey CP. Hey, my friend. <clears throat> how are you? I'm fine. You have a friend with you? Um, yes. Um, do I need to send him um, your, your username or he can join this You call? can call him. You can call him. He will can jo just add him jo to join the conversation. And you can hang up if you want to when you want. Or you can okay, do it yourself. I'll... I will hide him. <clears throat> okay. So you know, if uh, if somebody he is approving and he agree that his prophet is under witchcraft, so now how we can trust him receiving Quran from God? The guy is under the control of the Jews, and the one who did the witchcraft is a Jew. So he's swearing the book of the Jew. He do not know how to what is written in the book of the Jews, and he is under the control of the Jews. That's what the Muslim believe. Madness. And when we show them the proof in front of their eyes, it says here, it doesn't mean he is having, what do you mean? This is what it says in Arabic. And that's why you Muslim says he has slept. So why the translation says that if it's not? It's your Muslim website. I mean, do you see how they play games? If you want to call me, and play games, don't waste your time. I'm looking for people who they are serious, adult, mature, not kids. So how we can accept a person, even his sex was fake. Imagine, look, he imagined himself having sex. But man, he imagined himself seeing an angel too. <laughs> even different hadith says he imagined himself doing things, not only sex, everything. He imagined himself doing things. In fact, he did not do it. So he imagines the angel. He imagined he heard voices. He imagined he imagined. It's, him. it's a, a person who was an illusion. Nobody can trust him. When I when I finished my service in the army, there was a guy. He was doing his paper. He looked fine. He looked like everybody. He don't look like crazy or anything. So uh, I said to him, "Good, you finish your service safe, you know." He said, no, I did not really. I was, uh, I was kicked out because I hear voices. <laughs> he hear voices. He see things is not there. So they have to release him because he might start shooting. I mean, the guy hear voices. He hear sounds. He might see an enemy there, but he's not there. He's a nice guy, but he have a mental illness. God bless him. You know? He's calling his friend. I hope he will uh, he will join us. Um, but by the way, I don't, I didn't say that you were a Christian prince because if I say that, you're gonna run away. No problem. So I just I just say he was an Arabic um guy that knew about this. Okay. We are waiting for him to join. I, I'm lo I lost my voice actually. I don't know if I should call, take this call, but we promise him, so I will. We will see. <clears throat> CP, can you just give me two minutes? I'm gonna call him back. No problem, my friend. If if not today, we can do it tomorrow. No problem. It's okay. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow, at what time you gonna? I don't know. Here? You see, I don't know when I go. Like I have four wives, and then no. If some <laughs> sometime I have the wash dishes, you know, four wives. What you can do? <laughs> I understand perfectly. <laughs> All right. Just when you see me, just get him. All right. Okay. No problem. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And what you can do, I'm a good Muslim. I have four wives and 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 dating another four. And the other four are waiting. Good Muslim. You know? We marry for two minutes, three minutes, as Mimi Hijab he said. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, you know, one hour, two hours. Maximum two hours. After that. I'm out of gas, sorry, you know? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he married for five minutes, for two minutes? You know, you need, to, you need more time even to take off your pants. 
Two minutes. Are you a rabbit? Even rabbit don't finish it that fast. I mean, when this Mimi Hijabi will lie about Muslims, he's, at, uh, he's accusing the Muslim Sunni that they marry for two, three, four minutes. Are you sure? I mean, when they lie, they exaggerate with their lies. A minute. I mean, are you sure? Don't you think it's like uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab? Don't you think you are lying? I mean, come on, two minutes is too much, my friend. I think it was 30 seconds. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Your selfies are always accused of marriage and divorce, marriage and divorce, marriage. <laughs> so is there any sunnah for this? Is there any evidence for this? <laughs> Can that be in by the way, Ikhwan? Yani, that is that is one of the most yani, one of the most evil statements that is made against the people of Sunnah. Anyone who's familiar with the other communities will know that the affair of divorce among them is far, far more disproportionate than among the people of Sunnah. But it is us who are highlighted, that is it. And that is the manner of those who fight against the people of Sunnah, Da'iman wa Abadan. They will look for any excuse to highlight the people of Sunnah as evildoers. Apparently, uh, our brothers at SP, yeah, I mean, there is someone among them has married 60 times, apparently. Brother, 60 times. There's no way 60 times. It was 59. So you see, me, Muhammad Hijab, he is accusing the Muslim Sunni that they are doing mutan and stop and they marry for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, one hour. How good is that? Call me coward. This is, must be must be ultimate fault. Didn't this guy have enough? <laughs> Hello? He's playing Quran for me. Play, play Quran. <laughs> well, you know what? I have a verse for you about this. Look at the stupid God, the God of Islam. He claimed that the most harsh voice for Allah is the voice of a donkey. Have you ever heard a stupid statement more than this? And moderate with your walk and lower voice, verily, the harshest uh, voice of all voices is the bearing of an ass. God. This is God. He wrote that in his, in, in his book, in his office in heaven. This is God wisdom. Hmm. Must be true, brother. And the funny is that Muhammad's wife, her name, his last name is Donkey, and Muhammad's last name is Dogs. What a zoo. Muslims, all your laundry is here. Anything you say to me, I will show you something would be embarrassing. Anything. You are talking to Christian Prince. All the underwears of Muhammad is here. This is why my room stink. Yeah, me. Mm, disgusting. MashaAllah. I mean, even the Prophet, when he used to have sex with his wife, have you ever heard of somebody dry his hands in the wall?
Let us see. Imagine you are a prophet of God, and the Muslim, they say the best of man is Muhammad, and he is the best example. So now Muhammad, he had sex. He is going to clean himself. He have sexual relationship, brother. So what he do? He, he, you know, he clean his private part with his hand. And then he rubbed his hand on the wall. Do you see it? The Prophet of Allah. He hold his penis with his hand. Now he clean his penis. Look how clean he is. And then whatever he have in his hand, you know what I'm talking about. He dry his hand on the wall. And supposedly he's washing now. And the funny is, the Muslim, they say to you, wet dream. The Prophet was masturbating at night. So he have all the wives in his bed. And yet he is not sleeping with them. So he have, the guy who have wet a dream, obviously he did not have sex with his wives. I mean, you see, if a man, he ima imagine he is single. I say he's a man, single. This guy, he have all those wives. So why, what do you mean he have wet a dream? What does that mean exactly? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time, guys? Brandon Philip, he says, I am saying there's no, there's one God, and the word Allah is Arabic word for God. Brandon, you are, you are really, let us go, Brandon. The word Allah is not a word meaning God. Otherwise, Muslims, they should say in the Shah that there's no God but God. But they don't say that. They say no God but Allah. Go, dummy. Don't come here again. No God but Allah. Why they don't say there's no Allah but Allah? If Allah means God, it's not a name. Then they should say there's no Allah but Allah. Stupid people. Don't get married. She will exchange you for new shoes. I'm telling you. She will go to Walmart. She will see the guy in the cashier. She said to him, if you buy me a new shoe, please just take me and just let me. I don't want to see if Philip again. Brandon. Say hello to Joe Biden. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm not using the bad word, by the way. I mean, we just remember Joe Biden, the idiot. Of the village. What a stupid people. What a stupid religion. You know, everything around you showing you how stupid this earth is. I mean, stupidity is amazing. So the guy is calling me to ask me, what is the proof that the Bible is from God? I show him from the Quran. He says to me, imagine I'm atheist. What the, what the heck? And why I need even to prove to the atheist that the Bible is from God? He's an atheist. He don't believe in God. We have to believe in God first before we can prove that this is a book from God or not. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. Imagine I say to you, I'm speaking to a guy, he don't believe there's no God. And then I say to him, I will prove to you that this is coming from God. But he said, I don't believe in God. So first we have to debate about if God exists or not. Then if he agrees there's a God, then we can see if this is a book from that God. Low IQ, zero intelligence. And you know what? If you are a person who have intelligence, you will suffer. I'm warning you. You will suffer in this earth. When you look around you and you see stupidity everywhere, you will suffer. Uh... Anyway, did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? Uh, 
And the funny, the guy, he speak Arabic, and it take him half hour to read a few lines. And then they will go and they will say, Christian Prince, don't speak with Arabic. And then we find that their sheikhs is the one who don't speak Arabic. Omar Muhammad he says, I just re re watching our conversation. The irony is amazing. In the beginning, he was saying, I cannot run away from Arabic. And then he hang up on me. I did not hang up on you because of Arabic. I hang up on you because each time I show you proof, you say, that's not my problem. You see the irony? I showed you that the Venus of the Prophet is suffering. I show you the reference. I show you the interpretation. I show you the reference, you know, in the books. And you say to me, this is not my problem. So what we would, who, who are you? They are the scholars. This is Aisha saying. The Hadith says that the Prophet, he could not have sexual intercourse. You say it doesn't say that. It's in the front of your eyes. So there is no way you can debate a liar. It's a waste of time. You are a, you are a certified liar. How in the world even you dare to say it doesn't say that he cannot have sexual intercourse when even your Muslim translation says that? You say to me, what? This is not my problem. So I'm talking to a kid. You are, you are nine years old. It's in the front of your eyes. It says here, this is the Muslim translation. This is Sunnah.com. This is not a Christian prince translating Arabic. So why the Muslim, they would say sexual intercourse if it was zucchini? Maybe the Prophet was playing with his bookers. So why you Muslims, you lie saying he could not imagine himself had slept between two brackets, had sexual relationship with his wife. In fact, he did not. And actually, you know what? If you make it not sexual, that will make it even more horrible because if we say that he yati Allah, which means he come to his family, to his wives, in fact, he did not, it's even more horrible. That means he did not go. So the guy, he think he is going to his family, but he did not go to his family. So he went where? To Walmart. So you try to fix it, you make it blind. You are just a silly, stupid. That's why I hang up on you. But thank you for calling. At least you are brave, more, more better than the other Muslims. But this is the trick. Each time we show them something, they say, not my problem. They are, this is what they are saying. This is the scholar saying, that's not my problem. <laughs> that's not my problem. <laughs> and you know, the, the priceless thing you said in the whole conversation, that, yeah, properly the prophet, he was bewitched, but that's mean that Muhammad is not the prophet of God. Why? Because the Quran is saying, Allah is protecting you from men. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is going to protect Muhammad from men, from mankind? So how Allah protect Muhammad? from mankind and he was under black magic chapter 5 verse number 67 and not only that Muhammad not only was under black magic he was killed by poison and not only that the funny Muhammad he said that if you eat seven ajwa No poison can kill you and no black magic work on you. And guess what? Both of them happened to him. <laughs> Allah Apostle said, he who eats seven hajwa, dates every morning will not be affected by poison or magic. Who wanna try it? Don't, disclaimer, don't try it. He will die. <laughs> And then we find that Muhammad, he died by poison. The seven ajwa is not working. 
And not only that, when the Jewish women, she killed him with the poison, the women, she said to him, well, if you are a prophet, Allah will save you. If you are not, we will get rid of you. If you are an imposter, Muhammad, he said to her, Allah will not let you do it. So Muhammad, again, he lied. Allah could not stop the women. Watch my previous video, which I posted yesterday. Is it yesterday or today? I forgot. Today. How many of you watched the previous video? Not many, because there's no nice picture, right? You guys like nice pictures. Shall we put like a, a nice picture there? Hmm? Yeah, I think if we put a nice picture, there's a lot of people will uh, will watch it. Okay, let's see this one. Yeah, because people, they, you know, they watch videos because of pictures, not, not because of the topic, not because of how good it is. Seriously. This is why you see those, you know, perverted people, they put all those uh, naked pictures, you know, you will see, uh, you will see even some, they are faith to the point like he is going with his wife somewhere supposedly and then his wife she is going in the boat or something and you see her panty and he put that as a thumbnail for his video do you believe how you know how filthy some human being they can be his wife just to make a view Cheap people. Let us see. <clears throat> all right i think we have enough for today did we have a good time and, and uh, omar you can call me some other time you know i just have enough of you for today and we made you famous my friend don't forget to download the video omar i'm sure your family and your muslims will be so proud about you tell them that christian prince he hang up on me you run away from me, brother. And don't forget to name the video, the title of the video you made with me. I agree, the prophet, he was under black magic. And which means the prophet, he cannot be a prophet. Because he was receiving satanic verses, black magic mean under the control of the devil. And my friend, I have a news for you. I am a prophet too. Next month, a lot of women, they will have their period. Takbir, how he knew that? I'm telling you, this is for real. I have more news for you. Tomorrow, not next year, not next century. Tomorrow is going to rain in many places in the earth. No way, prophet, how you know that? I'm telling you, and not only that, tomorrow there's a man, his name is Muhammad. He's trying to have sex with his wife, but his penis will not work. 
he will go to eBay or Amazon and he will buy some Viagra. Allahu Akbar. Prophet, how do you know this is about me? I'm not talking about you, you idiot. I'm just saying Muhammad. Is your name in Muhammad? Yes. <laughs> a prophet of God. You do not know where the baby is coming from. And Allah, he placed mountains on the top of the earth. And ice is coming from mountains in, he in heaven. What the heck? I can do better. Trust me, I will make prophecies. None of those is the, the stupid Muhammad prophecies. Unbelievable. Death by chocolate? Your prophet did not buy, die, by... And you know, the funny is, the goat she told Muhammad when he was eating the goat, I have poison. I'm, I can't even, can't even believe it, guys. The goat she told Muhammad that I have poison, don't eat me. But the prophet, he ate from the... I mean, did you see how late is the goat? You stupid goat, shouldn't you say to him before he eat you? I mean, what's wrong with the, everything went wrong with this guy? Allah, he told the goat to tell Muhammad not to eat from the goat because the goat she had poison. The goat she told the prophet after he ate. That is deep. That is so deep. Now the goat is cooked. In case you do not know. And the goat is pieces, in case you do not know. And every Abdul around Muhammad is grabbing a piece of meat, as you know. And now the goat is talking to Muhammad, as you know. But the stupid goat, she spoke after the prophet he ate. The goat. How beautiful this story. I have to believe it. When is Allah to send Jibreel? Say to him, stop, don't eat it. The, oh, he's waiting for the goat to say, we go, the goat is late. And why Allah could not save Muhammad? <clears throat> this is Allah, can't he save him? So what if it's a poison? You know? Do you know how many women they try to kill me? I mean, they will not believe it. A lot of women, they would poison. You know, once they would poison for me, this is true story by Sayyid Bukhari. Once in the ice cream, I got them busted. I don't eat ice cream. <laughs> you know, they put the ice cream in front of me and they were waiting for me. Eat, eat, eat. And I said, okay, no, no, no. no. Eat, eat. It's, this, this is, you know, I don't eat ice cream. You know, they give me apple. I don't eat apples. You know, they don't know. They like, you know, they try everything, brother. But Jibreel, he told me not to eat since I was born. You know? Unbelievable. Those are true story, by the way. <laughs> you prophesied that the moon is split in November 8, 2022. And my friend, I hope that's nothing else will split. I hope it's the moon only. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, anyway. Uh, Allah, Al Nas, but you would say Ilah and Nas. Yeah, Ilah is a word. You see, that Muhammad is again, he is a thief. That's why if we go to the Quran, in chapter one, you will see it says Alhamdulillah. Not Alhamdulillah. Why? Because the name is not Allah, the name is La. La, the moon god. Alhamdulillah. Li. Li, in Arabic, mean two. To who? La. That is the name of your God. Front of your eyes. In the verse before it, it says, Bismillah. Al. La. Al is a word meaning God in the old Aramaic. 
is a word mean the in the Arabic today. So al la lil la who is la is the moon god the god of the Muhammadan. And the same we find when we go to the chapter 36, verse number one, it says, Ya Seen. Ya is a word meaning God. You can search it in Google. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. <laughs> Anything I say to you, check it out. You will see how stupid this version is. Ya, this is 37. Ya Seen. Yah is a word meaning God. Sin is the other name of La, the moon God. Yah, sin. This is why in, even in English you say sin. Sin simply is a word coming from the pagan time when the European, they used to worship sin, the moon God. So the Christian, they said to them, this is sin, this is sin, which means this is pagan. This is from the pagan time. So, Yasin, look, the Muslim interpretation says, Allah knows best what he meant. Allah knows best. <laughs> oh. Oh. Allah knows best. <laughs> Allah, he sent them first, and Allah knows best what he meant. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> anyway, I encourage all of you to download the video as soon as we finish. And I encourage Mr. Omar, the one who called me, please, don't forget to download the whole video, my friend, and post it in your channel if you have one. If you don't, create a channel just for, for this. So, you know, people, they can enjoy uh, your intelligence. I'm sure you are so smart and so proud of what you did. So because of that, I, I trust, I have a feeling that you will download the video and you will not make me disappointed. Please, I want Muslims to download my videos, post them in your channel. Let everybody see how powerful Allah is. And how smart Islam is. And how Muslims, they can answer so easy. Like as an example, Allah knows best. Other way, example, this is what they say. What's my problem? Other example, maybe. Very, very serious answers. And those answers, nobody can play with them. Because they will hang you in the air. But all those things doesn't work with me. Maybe it doesn't work with me. What's my problem? It doesn't work with me. I don't agree with the Muslim translation. You say that to me. It doesn't work with me because you are the Muslim. I'm not Christian. I can say this is a false translation. I'm the Christian. You are a Muslim. It doesn't say this. It doesn't say that, CP. So anyway, I hope I have a good time. I want to thank you. Thank you. Did I say thank you? I spoke as a Middle Eastern. You believe it? I want to thank you. No, no, don't say thank you. We'll thank them like a ship. I want to thank you for being here. And uh, don't forget to make a comment. I know most of you are cheap. Cheap in everything. Unbelievable. They're cheap in making. Not only they don't make a donation, they're cheap even making comments. Like at the, at the least, man, make a comment. And look, they said to them, because you are a cheap, you don't make a comment. And then what they say to me, thank you, Christian friends. This is a comment. I mean, look how generous they are. Thank you, Christian Prince. Wow. It took you a lot of time, my friend, to write the comment. Thank you, Christian Prince. That's deep. That is seriously deep. Or the other one says, I'm first. Look at this guy. He think he is coming for a match and who wanna jump in the field first? I am first. Then the second one says, come and says, I'm second. 
That's deep. And it's a first. I'm first. I'm second. I'm third. Wow. And then other guy, he comes, he says, how come nobody is making comment? Supposedly he's making comment. <laughs> this is a comment. How come nobody making comment? That's deep. That's so deep. And you wonder why Muhammad is exist? Many, they are qualified to be Muhammad. <laughs> so my friend, if you want to make a comment, make a real comment. We have many topics, serious topics. Show us your intelligence. Show us your knowledge. Show us your thinking. Show us that you are a smart person. Not just a listener, but a thinker. If you don't think, what's the difference between us and other creatures? Even other creatures, I think. But maybe they just think about how to make living, how to survive. Uh, you know, we are a human. So think as a human, act like one, so you can be considered as one. And this is why Jesus, he came to this earth, so he can bring us back to our humanity. Human being, he lost humanity. He isn't a human no more. He just think about himself, he worship himself, he enjoy killing, he feel happiness when people die, he feel happiness when a nation he don't like, they are destroyed. He enjoy and he rejoice for evil. Islam will do that to you. Jesus will not approve it. So I say, come back to Christ, come back to humanity, be loving, be Christian. Love your enemy, not by giving them hugs as some false, false Christians or hypocrite. The one who loves his enemies is the one who shake them, the one who made them wake up, the one who say to them the truth so they can see it and they can save themselves. Not by saying to them, I respect your prophet. I don't. You're a liar. Why you respect a killer? Why you respect a child molester? Why you respect a criminal? Why you respect a false prophet? Just because you want to be a hypocrite? Just because you decide to become a politically correct person? Those who they are politically correct, they are the last people to enter heaven. There's no heaven for them. For they take lies as a business, as a lifestyle. They have no future, and they have no present. They are even lying to themselves. They say things they themselves they don't believe in it, just because they want to be politically correct. We Christian will reject that, and we reject those people. So I want to say thank you for being here. Until I see you again, don't forget to download the video. Maybe tomorrow, maybe, eh, it's already Saturday, actually. Uh, man, how many hours I'm here? Oh, boy. So we will see when we come back. Invite your friends. If you have Muslims, they would like to call me for free. Uh, as you see, I can stay with the Muslim for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. But the second I notice that he is a liar and he is just uh, playing games, there's no point of speaking to somebody playing games. I'm not a kid. We are not here to speak to kids. We want to speak to mature people who are serious. God is a serious topic. So when a person starts saying to me, I don't care what they say, I don't care what the Hadith says, maybe. Maybe not. Then when you are sure, call me. As long as you are in the maybe, stay there. We want to talk about religion and people who they are sure of their religion. Not people who don't consider it to be serious and they try to defend it by saying maybe.
Either you believe or you don't. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, remember, in order to find where I'm going to go live, because sometimes I change channel, remember that always, you go to Patreon slash Christian Prince. I know some people of you don't like to go there because they think they have to make a donation. Hey, cheapo, I know. Don't worry. You do not need to make a donation. You can still go there for free and just click at the last video there and you will find where the Christian Prince will go live. The beach? You do not need to make a donation, brother. You do not. <laughs> I know you are scared. You are terrified. You do not need to make it. It's for free. All my service is for free. You make donation. You don't make donation. Still, my service for you will be for free forever. As the long as long the Lord is providing me, I will provide you my best. I promise. Thank you for being here, and the Lord is my provider, not the man. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you, and see you soon again. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 